What all are the best practices for client-side scripting in ServiceNow? Point number one, avoid global client scripts because client scripts configured on global table will get load on every single table form, regardless whether any of the code is actually needed or not. Point number two, avoid using DOM manipulation. Here DOM means document object model. Why we should avoid? Because ServiceNow table forms is maintained by ServiceNow and could be changed with future coming releases. If the ID value gets changed, then the mention scenario would be failed. Point number three, use UI policies instead of client scripts. Because to make a field read only, mandatory, or hidden. It is best practice to use UI policies instead of calling functions from the GlideForm API that is using G underscore form object in client scripts. Point number four, use asynchronous calls via Glide Ajax to get information from the server. Asynchronous function is get XML. Point number five, never use Glide record in client scripts. Point number six, Enclose code in functions because client scripts in ServiceNow without a function can cause issues with variable scope. Point number seven, use G underscore scratch pad to minimize server calls. The G underscore scratch pad object passes information from the server to the client. Known required values can be retrieved by a display business rule and made available to client scripts by storing them on a global JavaScript object called G underscore scratch pad. Please click like and subscribe for more video. And also comment below what all ServiceNow topics you're looking for. Thank you.